So with module 28 launching next week, Tuesday, I want to give you some information and preparation for the new areas, some maps with the locations of named enemies, what items they'll actually drop for you. There are some exclusive things that have pretty low drop rate. And otherwise, you might want to farm them to get upgrade materials. Other than that, there will be some new heroic encounters. And let's have a look at the loot you can get from those as well. So again, Module 28 will have the new campaign, Adventures in Wild Space. And if you go ahead and unlock that, you'll gain access to the two new areas, Doom Space with three maps, and then Xeraxis Space with kind of two maps, but mainly just one. The other, you go there as part of a quest. So each of those will bring a new named enemy, like a mini boss and heroic encounters. So again, the heroic encounters will be just displayed like this. And each of the areas will have its own place where it will also have a heroic encounter, which will appear. But they're all on a bit of a timer. Whether you want to actually go and do them will depend on the rewards. However, I want to first cover the mini bosses. Now, they are all going to have the same loot table as the ones we had in module 27. In module 27, we had eight zones, these ones in this system, and then another bunch in this system. And each one had a mini boss you could kill for getting campaign currency and some drops. If we do check the collections here, we can see that named enemies in Gabion space and Remichi space should drop the lunar rings and the space clown fashion, along with giving you some campaign currency. And if we check then with the new areas, they should be dropping you two new vanity pets just there. Really cool to have Captain Flump as one of them. And then you get this fashion set right there. However, in my experience of killing over a hundred mini bosses in all of the 12 areas, I found they all drop the exact same loot. I do not know if that's a bug, but that's how it is right now and very likely how it is when it launches next Tuesday. Now, I did already make a map for module 27, but that one again only has eight of those older areas. So I've done the same map, but just added the four new areas. So yes, each of them has the map. This one up top here has a line for where the boss will go because he's like a wandering one and the rest are all stationary and they're at the red dot. So the new maps, Moon Vakoth, you'll find him just here. And this is Jeeves guarding this gate here. Again, we'll go, we'll kill him and he'll just give us these 20 doubloons like before. But now we have a new currency, Bounty Jet. You get five of them every boss you kill. Again, all of them will give that even if they are the older bosses from module 27, as I showed in that video and are already in this map still. Now I'm just going to defeat myself here as that's the easiest way to get back to the teleportation place. So we jump then to asteroid Gradius and out of all of the new mini bosses, this one is the easiest to get to. He's going to be very close to where you enter and you can just then beat him up, which means you'll very much like in Zar boss map, use this boss to instant hop and just farm him over and over. And you can see right there, he's dropping us some space crown fashion. And this is in one of the new areas, despite it showing it would drop the ceremonial fashion. And they do drop the ceremonial fashion and all of them drop it in all of the maps. They just have that chance to do so. But then we'll go to asteroid Hymeria. And within this big tent here, surrounded by all of these Batiri, you will find the mini boss just here, this shaman. So again, we'll go and kill him. Your camera will probably get a bit wonky there. Unfortunately, it goes straight through the tent and then you can't see what you're actually doing. So I zoom it in a bit here but we get the doubloons and the bounty jet. And then the final map, planet Verduran. This again is in the Xeraxis space here, and you find a lizard folk shaman just here. 
None of them should be that hard to beat up. It might take you a bit of time though, as they have somewhere in around five to 10 million hit points, I guess. So that's all four of the new mini bosses. Again, they share the same loot table as all of the other ones you find in the older maps. And what is all of that? Well, you can see some of it in collections, but not all. And this is everything I found that they can drop. You will always get five bounty chit and 20 wild place doubloons. The doubloons are for the Light of Zaraxxus campaign, which is useful because you can get, say, the key for the Moon Dancer trial if you need, or any of the other rewards there if you have not got them, including the companion gear. But the bounty jit, we currently have 540 of them. Yep, I've killed over a hundred of these mini bosses already here on the preview test server. And well, looking through all of the stores and everywhere, I have not actually found where you will need the bounty chit. Perhaps later in the campaign with regards to these tasks, none of them actually use that currency. So I'm a little confused. But moving on, you do have a chance then to get uncategorized elements and the heart of the dying star and both of those are used as upgrade materials so you can see you'll need the astral elements for upgrading your rings the green ones the blue ones and the purple ones and then you would need the heart of the dying star to upgrade your artifact set the one that you will purchase from the campaign just here you get it on green and you will need those special reagents to upgrade it you can, of course, buy the reagents, a limited amount of them per week here, just two, instead of relying on, say, the drops from all of these mini bosses. But we did get a few, so they can come from there if you farm them over and over. They can all drop the epic lunar rings as well. You can see them in the collections just here. We only missed two now but none of their bonuses are great. And then you can get the shortest <laughs> Murkane Vanity Pet. I can show you that. We got quite a lot of him to drop. So he's just one of those Murkane race creatures and he's just super tall and will follow you around like that. Very tiny. But what's really cool is you can also get the Captain Flump Vanity Pet. Again, all of these should drop from any of the mini bosses that you kill. We'll just stick them back in our vanity pet bag and we can see the little flump right here, the captain flump. So it's just a flump, miniature form with a pirate hat. It's pretty cool. Again, the drop rate is very low on it. We only got one after killing over a hundred of those mini bosses. So if you see him, he's pretty rare. And then you can get the fashion. So you can get both the clown fashion set and the Xelet ceremonial fashion set. We can have a look at both of those. So the clown fashion set, you would have already been able to obtain as you've seen with my 27 from those mini bosses. So that's it just here. Again, you can change all the colors to what you desire. And then the ceremonial fashion set is just here. Other than that, each of the mini bosses will respawn after five minutes. So what a lot of people do is jump to either Asteroid Zar boss and kill that mini boss because he's pretty close to the portal where you enter the map. Or with this new update, you can go to Asteroid Gradius and do the same. It's very close to the portal where you enter and you can kill him, hop instance, kill him again in the next instance, so on and so forth. Otherwise, if you're feeling there's competition, you can AFK in certain spots and come back every five minutes to kill the guy. And oops, I'm just noticing the red dot accidentally got moved over here. I will quickly fix that. There we go. The red dot for Asteroid Tannis is supposed to be just here. That's where the Beholder boss is. Again, you can check out my previous video where I showcase the locations of each of those and beat them up as well, just like I did here in this video. But all of, again, the drops are the same. I killed about 50 or so of them yesterday, and this is the kind of loot we're getting. The drop rates are pretty low on these things. Generally, you'll kill a boss and get nothing other than the wild space, the balloons, and the bounty chit. 
which again, I have no idea what you use the bounty chip on. As far as I can see, there's nothing in the store. Now, in terms of the astral elements and the hearts of the dying star that you obtain from there, well, again, you'll need them to upgrade rings and the artifact set. You'll need quite a few of them. For example, upgrading a ring from blue to purple needs three of these astral elements. And again, you can only buy a maximum of two of them per week from the store. Meaning if you want it any quicker, you need to farm a lot of these mini bosses. Just be aware though, that I believe these only drop after you've gotten to the third or fourth milestone on the campaign, as I was not seeing them dropping earlier. Let me guys know when the module comes out, if you get them to drop for you but I could only get them by the time I could actually buy them from the store, which is not until I believe the third milestone. But let's move on to heroic encounters. Again, we have four new ones, one in each of the new zones. And well, generally they'll just drop you this. 10 pieces of nine, 10 seals of the dragon, and a teeny bit of refinement points. But additionally, they should be able to drop you these items. A ceremonial fashion set as well. The artifact set two instead of say buying it from the campaign store and then these blue rings these ones you can upgrade to legendary as well and the older heroic encounters should drop you the lunar rings and all these epic shirt and pants so instead of saving up currency for say the artifact set you could go and just farm heroics for that rather than spending like 200,000 astro diamonds here for it just if your luck is terrible and still want it you could buy it there that's generally what they are doing here with this module a lot of the time you can spend currency to just buy what you want rather than relying on a chance but it will come at a cost and well that's fair enough i'd rather have the option to buy it if i want to rather than relying on my luck if it's being terrible and i'm not getting what i want i can always just go and purchase it at a cost the devs did make like a little blog to announce the new heroic encounters but they really didn't say anything so hopefully this is all somewhat insightful the map should help you out to find those enemies nice and quickly but again feel free to go in there blind and discover and explore for yourself once again a special thank you to all of these channel members for your added support thank you for watching and we'll see you guys around goodbye for now